Well, uh, welcome to the closing uh, session for WBC 2020. Uh, people will have seen the public health announcement that I sent out, or the organising committee sent out earlier this afternoon, that uh, there were two people, at least two people at the dinner last night who have notified as positive cases for COVID-19. That, uh, that email tells you what we're required to do uh, based on Australian or the Victorian public health rules. So basically, if you have symptoms, you should test. If you don't have symptoms, they reckon that you should, you can test if you would like. Uh, if you do test positive, you would need to self-isolate um, for five days and test on, the, on that fifth day or sixth day. Um, I'm sorry that this has happened at the end of the Congress, but um, it's not a very great way to finish when we've had, I think, a very good time. But I, I should have probably thought that this would happen, but hoped it wouldn't. Uh, so I'd like to um, just give my thanks to the scientific committee of the Congress who uh, have met uh, pretty much uh, once a month with me for the last year and less frequently before that at times which were very inconvenient for everyone. We had a, an 8 a.m. meeting and in Melbourne time and an 8 p.m. meeting on Wednesdays it usually was and I really uh, appreciated the advice and support that the scientific committee have given us in terms of organising the program, organising uh, the journal participation and also organising the awards. Uh, they've, they've been uh, great and also full of humour when we've been having discussions. I was expecting that Robert Amor would have shaved his beard off for this event, but he hasn't done it. <laughs> yes, his beard got longer and longer every meeting we had, not during the meeting, but between meetings. Uh, so I just want to record that, that those people who were generally mostly working commission coordinators were of great support to me and, and to the conference more generally. Uh, I was going to announce all 30 plus awards, but I think that might be a little painful for everyone. So what I will do is I will post the award winners on the website for best papers in category, best paper in track, um, and a number of awards for W78 part of the conference as well. But I did want to announce one award uh, that was decided uh, was it yesterday, Matthew? It seems like a long time ago. Uh, uh, and that's the Smart Building, Smart Construction Innovation World Cup winner. And that was Vinay Venkatraram. And he's the CEO and founder of a company in Denmark called Leapcraft. So uh, we'd like to congratulate him. Now, the other thing we need you to do is to vote now for the best presentation awards. So that voting will be open until midnight tonight uh, and uh, we'll close at that time and then we will take possibly a little while to actually add up the uh, numbers for the best presentation awards. And I hope that people online will also vote in that. That's why we've left the voting open for uh, for till midnight. We expect that we'll have that announced on the website within a week. That's because I'm a very slow counter. And I've got Mike being helping us with that, so he's not so slow. So maybe it'll be quicker. Okay, so the uh, last thing I need to do is to uh, and announce our president, who's going to talk a little bit about the next WBC 2025.
Mark. So you saw my during COVID picture and my post COVID picture. <laughs> So a few things that we need to do. So we had a great conference for the last four days. And uh, of course, thanks to Ron and his team that they have uh, put together with uh, tremendous efforts, uh, this wonderful conference for all of us. So first of all, before I say anything further, I want to give him a big round of applause. Well, so what I want to do is I want to thank our previous board and the officers, and of course, uh, Keith Hampson. I just saw Keith, he, was, he had to head out, uh, so he was on his way to, to the airport and sends his apologies. But uh, as you all know, you know Keith has uh, led the organization for the past three years. And uh, in spite of the pandemic and the clampdowns and all the other things, he kept the organization going and the meetings on track and, and everything uh, running quite smoothly uh, with the help of, of course, our secretary. So uh, Keith Hampson, our past president, uh, Chalitra Percy from Brands, uh, New Zealand. She was here the first few days and then uh, had to leave again. Um, I had the pleasure of being the vice president in the past, past board. Our treasurer, Peter Paul uh, Van Veen, uh, did a fantastic job keeping track of the resources, the, the budget, and uh, making sure that uh, we, were, we were doing well as an organization. The program committee was chaired by Kala Kakonen. Kala, is, are you still around? No. Uh, membership and communications committee chair was, of course, Ron. And uh, under his leadership, you know, we, we added a number of new members to, to the organization. Uh, student chapter committee was uh, chaired by Albert Chan. Albert? I just saw him earlier. Okay. And the ECR subcommittee was chaired by Srinath Pereira. Is Srinath still here? No. Well, so this was, this was the previous board. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> And this is the new set of officers. Um, two vice presidents I had introduced earlier. You know, one of them, of course, Ron Wakefield from RMIT. Uh, Patricia Sotzopoulos from University of Huddersfield. Patricia, yeah. Uh, treasurer is going to be Paul Chan from TU Delft in Netherlands. Uh, program committee chair is Kim Hoffpol. It's Kim is not here. He's from Alborg University in Denmark. Uh, Keith Hampson has graciously agreed to stay on the board as the past president. So we are lucky to have him and his experience. Uh, chair of the Membership Com and Communications Committee is going to be uh, chaired by Kathy Mitchell from uh, University of Cape Town. Unfortunately, she couldn't come either. Uh, chair of Student Chapter and ECR Committee is Srinath Pereira. Uh, chair of the third party funding task group is going to be Michael Lacasse. Uh, Michael also could not be here. So that's our team moving forward for the next three years. So let's welcome them. Give them a big round of applause, please. And of course, a wonderful board members. And we have Said. Bakhtiari from Building and Housing Resource Center in Iran, Anita Tajek from EMI Hungary, uh, Professor Taha El Haq from Harriet Watt University in Dubai, uh, Professor Hisham El Kari, Hisham is here, there he is, yes, uh, from University of Salford, UK, uh, Professor Dongping Fang uh, from Tsinghua University, he was one of our keynote speakers, we all saw him, uh, Professor Theo Haq, Theo. He was not here either. He was here earlier from Nelson Mandela University. 
We have Bart Ingler. Bart? Bart is here? Yes. From uh, Belgian Building Research Institute in Belgium. Uh, Thomas Kirmar. Thomas was here earlier, but he's not here today, right now. He's from Fraunhofer Information Center for Planning and Building in Germany. Uh, Professor Goran Lindhal is not here, but he's from Chalmers uh, University of Technology, Sweden. Uh, Professor George Reichard, uh, Virginia Tech, he's not here either. Uh, Professor Pia uh, Sonmunen from Tampere University. I don't think. Uh... Oh, there she is. <laughs> Excellent. Professor Monty Sutrisna, Monty was here earlier. Monty, there you go. Yana Tatikunas, Yana was here earlier, uh, not present. Uh, Professor Ed Eduardo Toledo from University of Sao Paulo, not here. Uh, Professor Tarek Zayed from Hong Kong Polytechnic is not here either. And uh, Peter Paul uh, Van Wien from uh, Tino, Netherlands, he couldn't attend either. So these are our board members going forward, excellent board members to represent all of us. And I'm really looking forward to working with all of them and uh, see what we can do uh, in, in the next three years. Uh, of course, I had a chance to share with you what the board thinks are some of the priority items. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, if you think there's other things that the board need to do, uh, please reach out to one of us and we'll be more than happy to uh, take that into consideration and see what needs to be done. But the next item of importance is, of course, to share with you where the next uh, WBC is going to be. And uh, I have a couple of videos to share with you. So as I mentioned before, you know, my university, Purdue University, is located in West Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, we are about 120 miles south from Chicago. Uh, it's a university town. And uh, if you go 60 miles further south from there is a city called Indianapolis, a beautiful city. I'll share with you uh, the location where uh, we are planning to uh, hold the WBC uh, 2025. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, Professor Z Torbeka is here with me. Uh, and uh, uh, Professor Brian Hubbard, is Brian here? No, Brian is not here. But uh, so, you know, we have, we already have started a team put together to start looking into what needs to be done uh, to make that a wonderful, memorable event. So let's see, how can I start this? The city of Indianapolis. That's the JW Marriott where we will be holding the conference, the blue building in the back. If you're interested in Indy 500, from the dates that we are thinking of, it would be one week from the date of the conference.
right? I have one more. This is the Purdue campus. So that was just a trailer of what is to come. Uh, we look forward to welcoming all of you uh, and those who are online as well to uh, come to uh, Purdue, visit us for the WBC 2025. And uh, uh, I also want to thank you for coming to this conference and staying till the very end. So it is my duty now to hand it back to our host, uh, Professor Ron Wakefield. Thank you. So just a couple of observations uh, of Mark's presentation. I think Mark needs to work on his dancing before WBC 2025. We'll expect a much more polished performance. And I want to indicate to people that you may have seen what happened to me in between the old board and the new board. In those photos that Mark showed, I aged 10 years in one slide and I lost all my hair. So uh, that's a pretty sad note to end on, but uh, I've really enjoyed having you all here and we look forward to you visiting us anytime you'd like in Melbourne. Just let us know and we'll be happy to host you again. So thanks everyone. I'd like to also thank my staff in the school for their support as well as the administrative staff that I thanked last night. It's been an uh, incredible team building exercise for us to host the WBC 2022 and uh, I think it's that that's been a very satisfying experience for for us as well so thank you for attending have a safe trip home or stay safe thank you <laughs>